Today in this exercise, we're going to look at what kind of material is available in a BIM model. In other words, what we're trying to do is to define the scope of work based on what the model is showing for the information. Go to View menu, Schedules, then pick Material Takeoff. And let's keep it the multi-category Material Takeoff, but you can change the name to Material Scope. Click OK. Now pick the fields we need. You can pick assembly code, assembly description, family and type. Those are the things we usually pick for schedule. You can also add a few things related to the material, like material air, material volume, and material name. Finally, add one more for the category. You can use those two buttons to pick. If you make a mistake, you can always remove them. If you need to change the order, you can always use those two buttons below to move those things up and down. The next thing we're going to look are those tabs on the top. Just to go to sorting and grouping, we're going to sort everything by assembly code. Now click OK. You will get a list of material organized by the unit format codes. You can expand on the column line to see everything. If some of the items don't have a code, then you can actually go and pick a code for that item. Of course, this list was only based on what item was available from the model, but it doesn't really reflect the complete scope of work. Just like some items might not be on the drawing or in the model, but you still need them. Now we're going to talk about uh, how to use the list to get uh, the specific material we need. And this is also the general idea of doing the BIM estimating. Find the property window for the schedule, then go down, find the filter. Click on that. You can pick a material name. By default, it will be equals. Now you can pick the material you need. For example, let's say if we want concrete, click OK. This is all the construction made material made of concrete. What if I want uh, plywood? We go back to theater. All you have to do is just change the theater. Now let's remove the theater. This is just the first step for us to get the information from the BIM model. Hopefully you enjoyed this exercise. We'll see you next time.